All right, so we're here with uh, the Wall Science Small Group, and we are so glad that this uh, crew of folks has joined us today to talk a little about uh, engaging our Wolf for Good as a small group. So let's start with like your small group. How long have y'all been together? Give me a, like a sense of your uh, the group itself. As a whole, it's been four <clears throat> blessed, glorious years. <laughs> and what are like the general like life stages of your group? Like, is it uh, are y'all about the same kind of stage and age with kids in the same basic ages? Where are y'all? It's a good bunch. For the majority of time, we've had you know families with kids, and the kids have ranged from preschool and younger all the way up to high school, and we've got some graduating this year. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a heavy bunch of loud children that go upstairs and and uh, have a good time together and then all come back downstairs to have snacks <laughs> so yeah your, your, your small group's actually famous on the staff team for having i think the most number of children per capita don't you have like eight kids per family or something like that is i, I, I the, the count is i believe astronomical jessica if, if we're not on record for this we do have the best snacks <laughs> Thank you. maybe the most kids per capita and the best snacks <laughs> those are some good things those, those are some good things to have. That's great. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you love about Small Group? What's been, what's been good about it? You've been together for four glorious years. What's been glorious about it? We can just be us. Like there's no there's no faking it. There is pure love and we show up every Friday and sometimes I walk in the door and I'm like, Jessica, take my kids. Like I just have had a bad day today. Please have, have your daughter take my kids upstairs. And I was like, I just need to be with adults. And it's just so nice that I don't have to like come in with a fake smile pretending like I am happy when I've had a bad day. When you serve together, how was it How has it affected the kids? What do you think that does for your kids to be serving together with, uh, with other kids and with adults? Our three kids uh, work with Jessica this summer on the Cora food program and with, with Ashley, and they, they had a great time. And I think it's a great opportunity for our kids to um, see that there are people who, who have needs and, uh, and also to appreciate all the great things that they have as well. Yeah, and that's and for for our family too. That really giving the kids an opportunity to connect with people, and to come and realize that church isn't just a go show up for an hour on a Sunday kind of thing. It's a community. There's people, and getting your kids to get excited about doing something that isn't uh, video games or candy is is tough. And seeing them get excited <laughs> to want to come over to the small group has been pretty awesome. So, and when small group also involves candy or video games, it's like a win, 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 win all across the board. So that's fantastic. Back to the snacks. It is, it is, it's important. <laughs> it's not the most important part, but it helps. How did the idea of serving together get started? Maybe y'all have done things all together or some pockets of you've done different things. So how did that serving together thing start to happen in the group? I think Chatham serves. I mean, we were a group and hey, let's get together and try to serve on the same project volunteering this summer with the Cora Snack Program. The first people I went to to see if they were interested were people in the small group because I knew that it's a group of people that have a heart for serving and we enjoy being together. So that was kind of the first go-to. It's also a nice thing that you know you're doing something that's needed, but it gives you a reason to come together when they're, you know, we're mostly trying to stay apart, doing it in a safe way and, and filling a need that's out there. What would you say to someone, not just about serving, but in general about uh, small people, what would you say to them that would, that uh, why they should consider it, why they should take the step if they're, if it's not a natural draw for them or something they're not familiar with? You get home from work, you're tired, you just wanna, you know, grab something for dinner, put your feet up, watch some Netflix, and you're like, I'm too tired to do anything else. There's this need that gets filled by engaging with people in, in the community, in the church community that you just, you, you don't get um, in your life a lot. What it leads to is it, just pretty amazing. And, and it can be a life changing, life altering experience. Again, just connecting with a few more people uh, another time during the week just fills that that, that gap in, me, in, in my life. Well, y'all, thanks so much for for everything. I appreciate your time and uh, appreciate the ways you guys have been a part of a group together, serving together. It just, it, it, like the stories are great, uh, the ways y'all love each other and the ways you work together. And the fact that your kids look forward to being together, like all of it is just really, it's really, really great. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, pop in.